Hey, it's your boy Cuffo here, and welcome back to the Will Shiro franchise. And we are in episode two. The reason, so we are skipping technically what would have been episode two, but there were technical difficulties, and the files for the next video were corrupted because sometimes that happens with this video recorder. So there's nothing I can really do about that. So, this is when we are starting to have, we're just doing like series by series. And so what's happening is we're playing one series, except for this episode we're doing two because that's just how it worked out. So. Yeah, we are playing the Blue Jays series and the Yankees series. So now as we continue, as you can see there, San Francisco is, I believe that says 10 and 13, facing the 9 and 14 Blue Jays. And Will Shiro currently as 73 overall. Starting the year at a 71, and now being a 73, not too bad for a rookie. Now, I could not tell you exactly when this is time frame wise in the, seri in the season. Well, it's in the beginning, but other than that, couldn't really tell you any of his stats. So, I see how many home runs he has, and I didn't see how much it was. So, he will lead off here with a base hit in Toronto. And so, now, on first base, 2-1 count, that will be a strike. And that's one thing that started to get me annoyed once I got to this point. It always seemed that the people would strike out, so I never could do anything. So, staying at second, and that is a, another base hit. Crawford up the bat, 0-2. Here is where I get scared because I'm almost it's almost guaranteed to be a strike. So... Shiro is safe after almost getting picked off. So, the 0-2 pitch is a strikeout. So now, 3-0, that will be, that's almost guaranteed to be a walk. You start to realize this after a bit. When you look at the counts, it's almost for me. It's almost like a formula. So, getting across the plate, but he is out, so that will be no runs. As we are down 2 nothing, Shiro leading off in the top of the fourth. So now as we await the 0-2 pitch, as he is hit, and that will be a base. That is the one thing I start to realize also after this. The pitchers really tried hitting my character. I don't know if it was intimidation or what. And look at that, a home run now here for the Giants tying it up at 2. As we get another home run, well, not another home run, but another two runs to make it 4-2 Giants. As a good hit there, but Shiro will be out, making him one of two on the day. 4-3 now, Giants lead. Two outs, the pitch, ball one. Ball two. 
they're starting to learn to pitch around them because you try to put that in the middle, he's going to hit a bomb. Just like that one. And that... I believe that was a home run. And it was. Will Shiro gets his first ever player of the game. With a fantastic home run. Look at that ball. And I called it. I said, you put one down the middle. And that thing is gone. Two of three. On the day, one home run, uh, one home run, one RBI, and look at that game-winning home run. I mean, this—he's doing great for only being a rookie. I mean, what else could you ask for? You got possibly the best rookie. Currently, in probably baseball, if I look at the stats or if I don't, it's whatever. But I believe I checked the stats, and I think that he has... I mean, I believe he's the leader for Rookie of the Year. I, I mean, I would have to guess, because from my experience in the show... And baseball in general, there's not many rookies in a year. Because it's supposed to be like first year of eligibility. So I think that means that you have to just come out of that draft. Which means it is rare to win that. And I could easily be wrong. My thing's football, not baseball. But from my understanding, it... My understanding is that it is almost impossible to get Rookie of the Year. I mean, I'll check. The person that won it, like, a lit, probably before him, yeah, like a year or two before him was Ronald Acuna Jr. And, I mean... Yeah, he's been on the Braves just straight through 2018. No minor league, no anything. So, yeah, he was the NL Rookie of the Year. So, I'm going to check this year. So, this is probably would be 20... I guess it would be considered 2019. Because if Ronald Acuna... Oh, wait. Did Ronald Acuna not win it? Oh, no. He did. Why am I not... Oh, wait. That's... That was a different... That was AL. Sorry. Yeah, look. He is the only one there for Rookie of the Year. Five home runs, 14 RBIs. Aver hitting a third of the pitches... He's hitting a third... That means he's hitting one for three per game. That, you can say that's bad. What I say is for a rookie, that's pretty good. So, we'll go into this last game against Toronto real quick. And I just want to check real quick. So, Pete Alonzo won it, it this year. But, he is not in there right now. So, yeah, Ronald Acuna was the last one to win it. And, I mean, yeah. Like, he's the only Rookie of the Year candidate. And, I mean, hey. That would be great if he can win Rookie of the Year to take off this campaign as a pitch almost down the middle. Will that be another home run? No, it will only be... No, it's a ground rule. Nope, it's a home run. His seventh, I believe that said. 
sixth or seventh. I mean, he has the team up one nothing right now. Back to back home runs in this series. I mean, what else can you ask for here? He he's hitting hero shots everywhere. And yeah, he's way too aggressive, which is a big flaw for him. But at the same time, there's nothing else you could really ask for. Maybe, actually, yeah, probably to have better plate vision and not strike out. But is that another home run in this game? As no, it is not. Now down, I mean, still tied 2 2. As he tried, for whatever reason, throwing it the first. But he did not. He's one for three on the day. And a home run will tie it up at three. The pitch. As that is low and in the dirt. Hero just trying to get something here as he does get a base hit and he is out. And I believe that will do it as the Blue Jays do win. I mean, yeah, Hero's the Giants player of the game there because he hit a because he's just playing insane. So now we got the Yankees series coming up. Yeah. I I had to make some adjustments because I'm not specifically usering Kiro, so yeah, we're playing the 16 and 9 Yankees. Yeah, it's collect auto fix roster. So going into probably the biggest game here. As only three people on our team has been caught stealing tied for first in the MLB. As we are awaiting game one of the three game series between the Giants and the Yankees. Shiro, I believe it just said there, is leading the team in home runs. How many? I don't know, because it's very hard to see on this. Where, where I'm editing is almost impossible to see. So, somehow, um, didn't hit that ball. But, one out, people on first and second, swings and fouls. The 0-2 pitch. And way too early as the Giants are up three to two as thrown and fouled off. Almost probably doesn't almost hit him, but it's somewhat close. A pitch and late. So now 0 for 2. Bomb of the fifth. So, what I was trying to say earlier in the video was about leading in home runs. I didn't know if he was yet. He, had, he is now, as I explained earlier 
in this video. I mean, so far, East has been playing pretty well. I mean, there's nothing else you could ask for from being a rookie, leading the team in home runs. And actually, what, he missed the first, like, two or three series. So, he's only played so many. And, yeah, he could probably be a bit better defensively. But, I mean, if you can get a good hitter out of him, because at the time, because this is 19, a DH was a big thing that, I don't know, yeah, the NL did do it, but only, yeah, the NL did it, but only for when they were playing at AL teams. Because there's four lineups. There's r facing a righty with no DH, facing a left with no DH, facing right with a DH, and left without DH. So, if you even had to put him just at DH, even though we did get rid of Buster Posey, if you put him at DH, that is not bad. Because if you can get someone to hit like he does, you're going to be fine. And yeah, he does fly out a lot. First of all, Madison Bumgarner is a great pitcher. Second of all, if you get someone to hit how he does, you're going to be perfectly fine having a good catcher defensively and then having a just a really good DH. He flies out a lot, but that is because when he flies out, it is, all, it is borderline a home run. Because he hits, like, he hits these deep, deep balls. I forget if it was in this video I saw it, or if later on. Because, yeah, he hits more home runs. It's not like he's just going to stop. So this isn't spoiling anything. I think he hit, like, a... 473 foot home run. Like, he hit that thing far. So, tries to hit it, hit it, but it's fouled off. Down 1 nothing. I mean, the one thing I will say that is better from the Giants than from AAA after a couple games is the pitching, for example, of how he's shouting out Madison Bumgarner. He, like, he's getting player of the game and is winning us games instead of losing us games. The pitching lost us games for the, like, one or two series we were in AAA. But now, having Shiro in at catcher instead of Buster Posey, I can now see how the Giants pitching is, and it is really helping this team a lot more. So, and also back to the fact, him starting a catcher. Actually, no, I can't even think about that. I, I messed up what I was trying to say. Is that a home run? Nope, he's out. Once again, pretty close to to a home run. Strikeout and a flyout. That could be worse. Yeah, defensively, you could expect a lot more from Chiro with the throws to second. He is not great with that. And also trying he is safe. And is he Yeah, so there's one out. After the guy at second did get out. As now a hit there as a, I believe, double play. So now, I forget. I forget why I paused. I don't know. But, anyways. 
Half the time, I don't know why I pause in the middle of games. I just do. And the pitch missed. That's also another thing. He, I've talked about before, but he is really chasing the ball a lot. And that is one thing that needs to be worked on if he wants to be better. Tries to fake him out with the bunt. And still swung at a really bad pitch. 0 for 4. The bottom of the 10th. Out, you lose the game. Home run, you win the game. So. I mean, ground rule double, you tie it up. Double, you tie it up. Really, if you don't get out, you're fine right now. Home run would be ideal to win you the game. But if that doesn't happen... It's really kind of whatever. So. A really bad strikeout. And Didi Gregorius. 5 for 5 a home run. And he will be the player of the game. So. Pitching kind of cost us there. Considering the fact that they hit. 15 times in that game. So, advancing the day now. Series tied at 1. So now, the 17 and 10 Yankees are going to be facing the 12 and 15 Giants. We are currently 4th in the NL West. In front of the Diamondbacks. How long that will last. I do not know. But still in contention. And the pitcher got an error. I have a check swing, but that will be a strike, a one. Now it's the 0-2 pitch. Down, currently one to nothing. And down on strikes. Down to nothing now, as the Yankees, I think, were being nice in that first game. Puts one down the middle, but too late. Really good ball to, if that was hit. Could have possibly been a home run. Another strike. 0-2 pitch. Man on first, one out. Throws to the outside. Ball one. 1-2 one, pitch. At some point. A nicely hit ball as he will have a fly out. Now down 5-1. Once again, back to the point. I think they were being nice that first game. And strike one. Strike two. Don't know how you missed that. And. Strike three. As we go in now. It is the bottom of the eighth. I believe it says. Wild pitch. And could not get, get it there in time. As now the bottom of the ninth, one out, person on first. Really have to hit a home run to have any chance of winning this game. Really bad balls. 
to swing at. Thank you all for watching. This is a, um, this is the end of the video. This is the end of the series, so end of the video. Strikes out to end the game. Yankees win. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. And hopefully, we can get some more wins.